This morning we are speaking with pediatrician internist Dr. Frida Fisher. Dr. Fisher, good to see you. Although we may not like this information, it is true that Dr. Anthony Fauci says, look, we have to keep an eye on what the subvariant is doing in the UK and look at the numbers considering and act on that. Good morning. Good morning, Susan. Absolutely, we have to keep an eye on it. And it's been very nice watching the original strain of the Omicron cases go down. The surge has improved so much. Hospitalizations have improved. Even deaths are improving. But that BA2 is on the rise. It's the dominant variant in many of the European countries. And we see that two weeks after the UK released its last mitigation factors, its hospitalizations and cases started going up. And if you will recall, what happens in the UK is often a preview of what happens for us. And already in the United States, the BA2 variant is rapidly increasing. And so we still have to be on the lookout. The pandemic is not over. Moderna asking for emergency use authorization for another booster shot. Um, do you think it's in your best interest for those watching to get another booster? Or do we wait on the science, look at the numbers, see what happens here or what doesn't? We certainly need to wait on the data, but for people who are immunocompromised, already many of them are getting fourth doses. And it does appear to be appropriate because when you're immunocompromised, you may not have the appropriate response to the booster. But very likely, a fourth dose will be required, but it's always best to wait on the science. And do you think it's inevitable that everyone will get COVID either now, this wave, or in the future? Will it become, let's say, how we're used to the flu and we will get a shot every year? Yes, in the future, I really do believe it will be endemic. Early on in the pandemic, Susan, I'm a hopeless optimist. I was hoping that we could eradicate it. But now, so based on the way, I. I know, you know, COVID-19 actually resides in some animals like hamsters and deer. And when you have an animal mm -hmm. reservoir for an infection, it's very difficult to eradicate it. But I do believe one day it will be endemic, meaning it will be more predictable, static, and we will know when to prepare for it. But we're not there yet. And Dr. Fauci said, look, the good news here is it doesn't appear to be, at least for now in the UK, the influx of death that we did see in 2020 with this new strain. So that is key, right, in terms of hospitalizations? Absolutely. That's key, but it's also key to always watch the science because science is dynamic. So yes, the BA2 does appear to be more transmissible, but not as virulent or deadly right now but we can't take our eye off of the ball. We have to always look and prepare to move and change in our mitigation strategies if necessary. All right, Dr. Frida Fisher, always good talking to you, getting your expertise, thank you.